All right, now we're looking at specific gravity. This is a dimensionless quantity, and you can sort of think of it as a relative density. So look at this blue one here. We say that specific gravity is equal to the density of a substance divided by the density of water. So we're pretty much just comparing the two of how dense it is compared to like a known quantity of water. Uh, similarly, because density and specific weight are related, we can also divide the specific weight of the substance divided by the specific weight of water to find the specific gravity. Similarly, we could also divide the weight of a substance uh, divided by the weight of an equal volume of water. So imagine if we had a brick or something and we put it underwater, uh, the, the weight of that volume of displaced water is what we would be dividing it by. So anyways, let's go and do this. First of all, for mercury, um, let's say we have our, for mercury, let's say, Standard gra or specific gravity is going to equal the specific weight of mercury, and say that's Hg, uh, over the specific weight of water, so a specific weight of H2O. Uh, this will give us 132,925.5 divided by, and this is uh, newtons per meters cubed, divided by 9,790 newtons per meter cubed. So the units will disappear and we'll actually find that our specific gravity of mercury is going to be 13.57. Sometimes people get lazy and round this to 13.6. Okay, uh, so that's good. Uh, what we can do is calculate for the specific gravity of air now. So if we had for air Specific gravity, again, would be, well, we could either do specific weight or we could use the density. So how about we use the density? So we'll have 1.2 kilograms per meters cubed. It's, this is going to be over 998 kilograms per meter cubed. And make sure that you're using... Uh, uh, substances that are at the same temperature and pressure uh, when you're doing these sorts of calculations. So when we have 1.2 divided by 998, we will get this dimensionless value of 0 0.0012. And these basically just tell you how dense this uh, how dense this substance is as compared to water. And you see, if we compared water by itself, well, that would its specific gravity would just equal one, right? We'd have 998 divided by 998. Okay, so what if we say we have uh, let's say we have some oil, some oil that has a specific gravity of 0 0.8. It's 80% as dense as water. So if we want to find out maybe what its specific weight is, well, we can say that Sg is going to equal gamma oil over gamma water, H2O. So bring this up and we will have... 9,790, this is newtons per meter cubed, times Sg, which is 0 0.8, and we'll get our specific weight of our oil to be 7,832 newtons per meters cubed. All right, and lastly, I'll just change color here so we can see what's going on. We could we could also do this. Uh, we could find out uh, what its density is. So we could say that Sg is equal to density of oil over density of water, H2O. Uh, bring that up. So we will find that the density of oil, uh, let's say, density oil is going to equal well 0 0.8 times 998. 998 nine, and our density of this oil that has a specific gravity of 0 0.8 is going to equal it is 798 there we go 798.4 kilograms per cubic meter and you'll find if you multiply this by 9.81 you will get its specific weight which is 7832 newtons per cubic meter